Early access. Ugh, that left a nasty taste in my mouth. This concept plagues video games and the industry as a whole. The idea is stupid. I can't find a reason in any way to sell a game when it's far from finished. It's like selling you a car, but the engine isn't completed, and you get a Honda Civic that explodes every time you try to step on the gas. It's like buying a full pie of pizza, but they send a full box with only one slice, and every month or so, they send you an extra slice. Except it takes fucking years! You wouldn't pay for a fraction of a pie, why are you buying this? A lot of games I've really been excited for and into have hit this low point. One of the most frequent being Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. If you've been around, or know me personally, you know I adore the Plants vs. Zombies franchise. I've played every game, except for that single Facebook game, I guess, and I've poured hours into each and every one. I love the art style, the humor, the attitude, the concept, and I especially love the Garden Warfare series. So when Plants vs. Zombies starts posting these teases on their Instagram, and rumors start flying about a new shooter game, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was going fucking nuts. The trailer drops, and I watch it instantly. By the end, I'm screaming. Free roam areas, new classes, new game modes. There's these team play characters that look awesome. The Snapdragon finally has a playable class it deserves after so long. The game looks absolutely fantastic. So I instantly buy the game on Origin after finishing the video. Boot up the game after the download, and I just say, what the fuck? The bloom is through the roof, the color schemes are so janked, it's so fucking bright, and it all just looks fuzzy. The shooting is far from clean, it feels buggy, it feels unfinished, it feels unsatisfying. Moving is physically uncomfortable, the running mechanics and animation just cut and end, and don't even play. Yes, I know in the long run these are just small nitpicky gripes, but in the moment they just seemed so impactful and just in your face that you just couldn't ignore it. This is nothing like the standard Garden Warfare 2 set, a game they released three years earlier. This isn't even the standard the first game set five years ago! And then I see it. Not on the store page. Not on their Twitter. On their Instagram. It's not released. It's in early access. It's nowhere near the standard PopCap set, and it isn't even written anywhere on the store page that it's early access. Nothing but mere mentions that it's releasing October 18th, and that's far from enough information to convey it's not fully released yet, kiddo! And then I realize... Eh? Eh? Bam. Now it all makes sense. Yeah, this was an easy fruit to pick. Fortnite's Battle Royale is an example of a game that calls itself early access, but really just uses that as a reason to change the game balancing as much as it pleases without a cap on, this is a final game, this build is the standard for the future. It's an early access for all the right, wrong reasons, and I just want to say it's a fucking fantastic idea from a financial standpoint. It gives the developers creative freedom without being bound down to some standard of the game is supposed to be like this keeping them down, and if we're honest, this game has regrettably set many standards for video games today. Mainly their microtransaction method, which haunts me wherever I fucking go and whatever I fucking play, but that's besides the point. You wanna hear about games that try to sneak through wearing the mask of a complete product? Must I really go into this? Bethesda has never really had the greatest image on Earth, but their games nonetheless held a sort of aura and mystery, curiosity and exploration. The worlds of Elder Scrolls were so mesmerizing to so many people. The worlds, the immersion, the absolute Despicable crashes. There's also the Fallout series. I remember coming home excited to relax and fall back into the world of Fallout New Vegas. So when Bethesda starts dropping hints about a co-op Fallout game, you start to go, eh, and then they show gameplay and that face starts turning into a, oh no, please. And finally, this. Yeah, this shouldn't have happened. When the game released, it had zero substance. Gone was the NPCs, the interactivity, as if Bethesda had taken every good writer and tossed them out of the fucking window and replaced them with preschoolers. Preschoolers can't write! Have you looked up documentation of the bugs that Fallout 76 has had? This list was last updated in November of last year. Sure, Bethesda hadn't developed a game with the same people as Fallout 4. It was sent off to a branching, smaller developing group. But as if the company sitting on a literal mountain of lies floating on an ocean of tears couldn't even put any love in the game to begin with. This game was sold in full too. <laughs> not for long though. This game is what not to do with a game. 
Playtest it. I doubt people would be losing crucial parts of the video game experience if they can even open it. And this is my problem. Buying a game that isn't even promised to be fixed. And then we have one of these in our hands. To me, it feels unfair to sell a game that's marketed as if it's complete and released, when in fact, it's nowhere near. There is valid argument for early access, but honestly, I'm sold.